In this video, I'm going to talk about BIRAD0. Now, the concept of BIRAD0 is very easy to understand until you start doing a question about it and then you understand that the BIRAD0 is not as simple as what you thought. So let me tell you what is BIRAD0. BIRAD0 is an incomplete study. So what I thought when I see BIRAD0 is, you know, just like a patient who's under the CT scanner or an MRI, are they breathing too much? They were moving around, so they didn't get a good test. So that makes sense, that's BIRAD0. Now let me give you a question. This is a 46 year old female on a screening mammogram has a cyst in the breast. Is this BIRAD0? It's a cyst. So what is a cyst? Most likely that is BIRAD2 uh, because two is benign. So let me tell you that this is a BIRAD0. So BIRAD0 means that one I agree with is that the test was not optimal, but the other one is that the test is optimal, but we are not 100% sure of the test results. In fact, what we mean is we need more testing. So pathologists, what they do is that even though I keep telling you it's a cyst, on a screening mammogram, that's the key word, on a screening mammogram, they are not going to label this as BIRAD2. What they will say is this is BIRAD0. And by that, they mean that I need a diagnostic mammogram or I need another view, which is reasonable. So in real world, it's very hard that someone would label BIRADS two or three on a screening mammogram. So that is important to know that even though you may have gotten a very good study, but just don't underrule or overrule BIRAD0. It may still be a BIRAD0. It shows your cyst, but remember the key words that this was a screening mammogram. Now let me tell you or ask you what's the difference between BIRAD0 then and BIRAD3. BIRAD3 is probably benign and you're going to get an other mammogram in six months, correct? So BIRAD0 is also saying that I need more imaging. So what's the difference then? The difference is that in BIRAD3, I've told you that this is probably benign and that is my management plan that I'm going to manage this patient by doing serial exams. In BIRAD0, I'm not 100% sure about my diagnosis and I need that imaging right away, not in six months. So this is a conceptual difference between BIRAD0 and BIRAD3. So in summary, if the test is incomplete, which may be the quality of the test, or just the fact that you need more imaging to uh, make the diagnosis. And then be cautious. If it's a screening mammogram, be very reluctant to say it is a BIRADS2 or a BIRADS3 because it means you've already made up the diagnosis, which is very hard to make up on a screening mammogram. You need another dedicated image, such as dedicated uh, mammograms or ultrasound or additional views to make the diagnosis. Hence, that breast cyst that I told you and you were very convinced and so was I that this is BIRADS 200% is actually BIRADS 0 because pathologist is going to say this is BIRADS 0 and I need more imaging to make the diagnosis. I hope I was able to clarify this issue. Thank you.